documenting one of Dunedin's biggest student rituals. This author is going over student flats she's encountered since she started researching North Dunedin flat names as part of a master's project. My project was about collecting ephemera and, and, and examples of, um, of ephemera in everyday society. And I remembered that we were living in this landscape in North Dunedin which is full of interesting student cultural ephemera in the example of the flat name. She began the project in 2000 and has photographed, researched and written about nearly 350 student houses. She decided to publish a book on the names and history behind the Scarfie homes as an ode to Dunedin's tertiary culture. Former occupants from all over the world have been helping by sending her information and photographs through the internet. Thanks to social media, I've um, been able to connect up people who have lived in these flats and um, hearing their stories, hearing why they've named the flats the way they have. Um, something else I'm interested in is uh, the materials that are used to create the signs. Flat names commonly reference pop culture, alcohol, sexual themes and historic events. The first record of flat naming in the city dates back to 1933. Titles Gallagher has come across include The Palace, Bruce's Benjamin Butchery and Fridge and Fridgette. She's hoping her book allows past residents to reminisce, while others gain an insight into Dunedin's unique student culture. Just hope that they'll really enjoy looking at the pictures and it will bring back memories and, um, and you know, they'll enjoy sharing it with their friends and their kids and yeah, yeah, I just hope people will really enjoy it. She's planning to finish the book by 2019 when the University of Otago celebrates its 150th anniversary. Annabelle Dick. 39, Dunedin News.